Hey, Karen. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. There we go. <laughs> we couldn't find the connection for the USB, but I found it. So, how was your weekend, Karen? Good, teacher. I was trying to complete my unit one, but I had problems with the 1.8. Now, let's check. 1.8. Let's take a look. All right. Okay. What happened on 1.8, Karen? Uh, for example, I have four rounds. The number one, I, I wrote, she told me he was not surprised at, at all. For number eight? No, no num number one. Sorry, sorry, number one, 1. 1.8, right? Yes. Okay. She told me she was not surprised at all. What? Well, let me take a look here. What was it that you needed to do? Um, rewrite the sentences using reported speech. I'm surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Okay, and what, okay, I'm sorry. And what did, what was your answer? She told me mm -hmm. she was, she was not surprised at all. Yes, that's correct. Uh-huh, and period at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's correct. Tell me, okay. Mm, but it was, but, show, me, but there, show me your screen. Show me your screen better. Okay, okay. Because something is wrong because the answers, the answer sounds completely correct. Okay. She told me she, okay. Put, put a contraction. Don't put she was not. Put a contraction. She wasn't. Okay. Okay. She it wasn't, wasn't surprised, past tense. That's right. Uh -huh. And it wasn't, yes? Uh huh, at all. Okay. Let Check. me. Let... Yeah, yeah. Check. Check. Yeah, that was a problem. I hate, I hate, <laughs> you know. It just makes me crazy, you know. I... <laughs> There you go. You see, Karen? No problem. You have the right answer. You see? It's only... Yeah. The contraction was a problem. Only the technical issues. Uh-huh. Okay. But... What was uh, the number, other one? Number three. Number three. Okay. She said... There's a, a back down the street. Okay. Hang on. Three. She said there was a... Let me see, there was a back down the street. A back, what's a back? What's a back? Hey, Karen, do me a favor, put an N for back. I think they meant bank in the, in the A-N. Put an N, I think they meant bank. Uh, what, is, what is that? B, after. the A, after the A, after the A. Put N, no, no bake. Bank. Mm -hmm. And? Bank. Yes, bank. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, let me see. This. She said there was a, a bank down the street and with a period. Okay, try that. I don't think it's back. I don't know what is back. I never heard of back. Yes, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the other one? What's the other one, Karen? Number, 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 number five. Number five, let's see. All right, uh, give him a call. Okay. Give him a call. He told me to, uh, uh -huh. nope. He that told one. me to nope. give him a call. No, that one you have wrong. That is wrong. That one is incorrect. Okay. He told me to give him a call. Ah. This one you don't change. Um, uh -huh. There is an exception. Yeah, when there are orders, when there are recent orders, or, or like when the people give you, they're called imperatives, but it's really when there is like an, an order or an instruction, then you don't change. Okay, he told me 
to give him a call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't change the verb for when there are orders. Mm -hmm. That one. That's yeah, that, correct. Uh huh. That one. That one was incorrect. Okay. And the, uh -huh. last, and the last one. Okay. Let's take a look. We didn't take the eight o'clock train. Okay. It's we. They told me they mm, hadn't taken the eight o'clock train. Yeah, that was that would be what I would put gotten. Mm, but maybe they took it as an instructions. Try the same thing. Try the same as we just did. They told me they didn't take the eight o'clock train. It doesn't. I'm not sure because it it doesn't sound for me. It doesn't sound like an order. It sounds more like uh, information, a statement. They told me they didn't. Take the same thing, the same, the same one that like we just, the, uh -huh, exactly. They didn't take the eight o'clock train. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it is still wrong. Okay. You told me they. Ah, uh, no, 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 sorry. It, it was. I had a mistake. Okay, okay. They didn't take. Yeah, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Karen. You're welcome. So, so the, the exception of the rule is when when it is a, an order, you don't Cor have to ch change. Correct. That when it's an order, or, or um, technically it's called an imperative, but really we understand it's an order. Whenever there's an order in those rules, you don't change. There is no reported speech. So, for example, I tell Sandra, clean your room. And Oscar asks, what did he say? Okay, he told me to, and then the same, clean my room. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, always for, for orders or those types of things, yeah. And that in those moments, you will not change the statements. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Besides Karen, did anybody else have any difficulties? We were just reviewing for those that came in a little bit um, right now or didn't get a chance to see from the beginning, we were reviewing 1.8 knowledge check. 1.8 knowledge check. Karen, I'm sorry, which ones were the ones that were the simple the, the simple present? It was number number five, right? Number five and eight or, or which ones? Uh, number five, yes, number five and eight. Okay, so in case you had problems, number five and eight, you do not put into the past tense. Number five specifically because the rule says that you don't put reported speech, you don't put in the past if it's an instruction, if it's an order. So like if your boss says, uh, write the report. He told me to write the report. You're not going to say he told me to wrote the report. Okay. Oscar, you're on mute. You're on mute. I see your mouth moving, but you're on mute. Uh, so in this case, the answer will be, he told me to give him a call. He told me to? For, for, give him a call or, or, for number five. I think the, so. The, the example that Karen was telling right now. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. If that's what it was, if that's what it is, yes. Karen, would you like to share your, your screen one more time so everybody could see, even those that came in right now? Okay, right now. Okay. There you go. This is for those that are coming in right now. This is 1.8. Is that right, Catherine? Yes, 1.8. Okay, 1.8. You put a uh, period at the end, Karen? In, in which one, Oscar? In all of them, because sometimes, you know, the, this, this platform makes you put... Yes, I, I, I put period in, in all of them at the end. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Karen, can you do me a favor? Can you go down to the, to the second part from numbers four through eight so everybody can see clearly? Um, just in case they had an issue. If there's any questions, if you had any of them that, 
that you're not sure about, now is the moment to ask and Karen can show you what it was the correction that we needed. So I don't know if Sandra, Stephanie, or Oscar, if you have any questions about any of those. When I did it, I got every one of, every one of them wrong, but I didn't understand why. So when I came and I heard what you said about putting the, the proposition to in the, in the number five, I understood what it is about, but in the first one, I didn't understand. I didn't okay. understand me. Okay, and now it's okay, Sandra. Now you got them correct. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to correct them. Okay, no problem. No problem. Oscar, for you, were there any others that uh, any others that were confusing or you're not sure about? Uh, I'm not sure about yet. I haven't been in this point, but tonight or tomorrow morning that I have time, I will uh, have one or two hours for the platform. Okay. Perfect. Hey, and Oscar, by the way, how are you feeling, my friend? How's the uh, surgery? How are you uh, I, I, Thanks for asking. I, I visited the doctor today. Mm -hmm. They removed me the stabless. Is that, is that how is you that, say it, right? No, no, no. But I understood what you meant. That's but the, that's the, the brand, pronunciation. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, the staples, right? Staples center. <laughs> staples. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Staples. Mm -hmm. So they removed me eight staples. Um, today, uh, the um, cicatrization, the, how do you say that? I don't know. I'm sorry. Cater the, cateterization. That's right. Cateterization. That's right. It's, 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 it's in a good way. Excellent. Is there, it's just, I need to have to walk, uh, like 30 minutes per day and like re re rehabilitation. Okay. We have. We, hey, excellent, Sandra. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. What do you say? We have. It's for you, Sandra. It's not for oh, me. We have. <laughs> we have. <laughs> yes, this is the common way to say it. Rehab. Okay, so I need to rehab. So I'm 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 happy because of that. I'm just they they just tell me to take care and uh, with the skin to don't wear jeans with belts to tie and things like that right mm -hmm. i'm trying to eat healthy but right. that's it thanks thanks for asking okay okay good all right so anybody else have any other questions or anything else okay so everything's okay for the platform then Teacher. All right, great. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and continue. Today we're beginning unit two or 2.1 in our platform. This is um, a, where we're taking a look at really it's two grammar points, but we should be clear previously with them. So let's start off first. Okay, we're going to be taking a look at one more time, as I said, 2.1. Um, and in 2.1, we have there are two different names and maybe they don't sound like they are together, but they are. One is the present perfect and one is the past simple. Okay. I think we are very clear past simple. We have studied it many times and we always say the regular verbs are the ED, right? Regular verbs are ED. And they're all of the things that we say like yesterday, this morning, excuse me, all of the things that we talk about this weekend, that is the past simple. I went, I saw, I ate, all of these types of things. Okay. Is everybody clear with the past simple or is anybody confused between past simple and past and, and, and uh, or I don't know, maybe another form of verbs like uh, the past participles or something like that. In my case, I think I just need to practice. I think so. I mean, I hope so. Okay, but the the technical or, or the 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 academic area is clear, Oscar. Do you understand what are the past simple, right? Yeah, I, I used to study them years ago. I need I need to refresh, but I understand. Okay, all right. Not in a hundred percent, but I understand. Okay, Oscar, do you ever use um an 
uh, on your phone an app called Quizlet? No. No? Hang on. Make that, sure. is, that helpful, is that helpful for learn? For, yeah, yeah, yeah. It really, it really helps a lot, especially for, for example, like in this content, for, for these specific structures. Hang oh. on. I'll put it in here. Um, make sure I got the right name. Okay. You can use the app. You can do it on the computer. You can do it wherever you like. Okay. You can do it on the web browser. Um, once you enter, it's free. It's free just to make sure you don't, there's, it's always free. Um, once you register or enter or look for, I don't think you even have to register. I think you can have just a free version um, without registering, but I don't remember. But just put in past simple and you will have a lot of different verbs that you can practice, okay? Um, many times, as you progress, you'll need to change the name. So at the beginning, you can put past simple, and then when you feel comfortable with those verbs, put past, past simple intermediate, then put past simple advanced, and then you'll get more and more difficult or unusual verbs, okay? Because usually the first ones are the, the regular ones, ED or things like that, but that'll help okay. you, okay? So the idea is, always the past simple are when we're talking about without adding more than one verb. That's the past simple. The past simple is just one action that happened before. And that's going to be it. It's not going to be a combination. It's not going to be um, two actions at the same time. It's not going to be anything else. It's just going to be one action in the past. Is that okay for everybody? What is the past simple? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. Now today, also, along with the past simple, we have something that is very commonly used, which is the present perfect. Does anybody have an idea what is the present perfect or how it works? For example, the action that starts in the past and continues in the present. For example, uh, I uh, present perfect. Right. Present perfect. Uh, yes, I I remember. I have been. I have been in United. No. I have visited uh, Guatemala. Oh, I have studied. Mm -hmm. That's it's, right. it's present. Uh, no, teacher, uh, really, I don't remember. <laughs> it's better you explain me. Okay. Can anybody else, uh, you know, expand on what Claudia is saying or? For example, uh, I I've taken this course for five months. It's something that uh, started in the past and continue until now. Excellent, excellent, Karen. That, and Claudia, both of you are, are right. This is the main concept. The main concept is simply, there are different forms for the present, perfect, but the most common form is it started in the past and continues to today. So this is one, okay? Now, this is also the idea that it doesn't have to continue to today. The other concept is that it affects today. It affects the conversation. It is relevant. It is important for now, okay? This is the idea of the present perfect. So it's, as an example, like Karen mentioned, I have studied. You start in the past and you continue today. That's one. Another concept for the present perfect is when we talk about things that you did in the past, but we don't have a specific time. As an example, um, Sandra, um, I, I can't remember if Sandra or if it was, I can't remember who it was, but somebody traveled. Somebody traveled to, um, let's say, Oscar. Oscar went to the US, okay? We don't know when it happened, but he went. He went in the, obviously it's in the past. So for this, we would say, Oscar, sorry, Oscar would say, I have gone to the US. This only means he did the action. It doesn't mean that he is doing the action. That's when it's important. 
So the simple past is when you did the action at a specific time and it's finished. The present perfect is you did the action, we do not have a specific time, and all that is important is the action that you have ex done this experience, or you haven't if it's a negative. Does that kind of help you a little bit? We're gonna, we are going to watch a little video to make sure that it's clear, but the main concept is this, that the present simple, the actions are finished in the past. Present perfects usually have two main ideas. One, start in the past and continue to now, or it has happened in your life, okay? As an example, Stephanie, have you eaten sushi? Okay, maybe not. Uh, Sandra, how about you? Have you eaten sushi? I have, I have never eaten sushi. Never? Never. Okay, so when the moment that Sandra says, I have never eaten sushi, the listener or I understand when Sandra was born, all of her life, this action never happened. If, what about Karen? Karen, have you eaten sushi? Yes, I have. So I understand that from when Karen was born to now, sometime in her life, she did this action. That's the present perfect, okay? If I use the simple past, it's at a specific time. I ate sushi last year. I ate on my vacation. I ate something. That would be the past simple. But in the case Karen says, I have eaten sushi is I understand this sometime from when she was born to now. Sometime in between this time, this action happened. Is that okay for now? Or we're, we are going to practice and we're gonna do, but is the concept okay for at, at this moment? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Of for course. For example, I have, I, I have visited Visit, visited uh, Guatemala, mm -hmm. the action is starting in the past or, or no is starting in the past? Okay. Or the action, mm -hmm. uh, it was for all my, la my life. Correct. This is it. The action is I have visited Guatemala is that sometime in your life, this action happened. So from when you were born to now, Sometime in between, in this time, you did this action. I don't know when, but this happened. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sure. Let's watch a small video on where we get a, a small explanation and maybe a few examples of this concept. Hi. Are you ready to use two tenses at once? Stay and learn how to use present perfect versus simple past. present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect to report a recent event without giving a specific time reference. The trainer has saved all the paintings. Use the simple past to report an event with a specific time reference. After a day at the mall, the woman went out to her car but couldn't find her keys. I started teaching her to paint last year. When is present perfect used? Present perfect is used when reporting a recent event without a specific time reference. The present perfect is also used for repeated actions in the past with no time reference. It is also used for actions or situations that began in the past and continue until now, especially when for or since is used. When is simple past used? Simple past is used to describe an event that happened at a specific time in the past. So how long have you studied English for? Who was your first English teacher? Okay. Are we okay so far? Yes, teacher. Okay. So 
after watching the video, are there any questions or things that are not clear about what she says or that you would like me to explain? When is present perfect used? Sorry, one more time. Are there any parts that were not clear? I, I'm going to put this in the chat because I think this is an important part of the of the lesson, which is a specifically the idea of when do we actually use the present perfect. Okay, this is a good a good little image referencing. Okay, so we usually have these concepts. We use a present perfect for one an action that doesn't have a specific time. So we don't know when it happened. That's one, okay? We use the present perfect is for actions that repeat in the past, okay? Uh, or three actions or situations that began and continue to now. These are normally the ideas that we have for the present perfect. The most common one is number one. Present perfect is used three. when reporting a recent event without a specific time reference. The present perfect is also used for repeated actions in the past with no time reference, especially when for or since is used. When is simple, simple past is used to describe. Okay, and here's the idea for the simple past. Um, I don't think it's as important, but still make sure that it's clear. It's for an event that happened, like I mentioned, at a specific time in the past. So we know this event happened. We know when it happened. That's going to be the big difference. I studied English 20 years ago. We know specifically the action, studied English, and we know specifically when, 20 years ago. If we don't have the specific time, then it would only be, I have studied English, and we don't know when it happened. So how... Okay. Let's take a look here. Okay, so in our knowledge check, we have a couple of things, right? It says, uh, complete the new story with the present perfect or past tense of the verb in parentheses. We're gonna make, we're gonna form with our partners. We have eight different exercises that we need to do and we're gonna practice them. We're gonna choose. What is the difference? Remember, if you use the present perfect, it's going to be have and the past participle or it's going to be has. How do you know the difference? He, she, it has, the others have. He, she, it has, and the other ones are going to be have. This is with always with the past participle. If it's just the action finished, it's going to be the simple past. Okay, so we're gonna form up our partners, our, and we're gonna try to get them done. Are there any questions before we form our groups? No. No. Perfect. Let's try it. Two, right? Yes, uh, two point two. Can you see my screen? Uh, in, in what? Can you see my screen? Uh, Karen, I don't know. Sim, sim, repeat, please. Can you see can my, you? My, my, my screen? Ah, can you see you, your screen? Uh, let me check. Let me, yes, but I am I, in the platform. Okay, let's do number one. Number one. Give me the staples. I have eight staples because they did not make a sushi. They just put the, you know, the staples, right? Uh, Plus, no. Actually, um, well, I, I can understand you uh, about what, what your surgery. Uh, it was because I have an engine urn. Ah, okay. Like a, in your back? No, in the um, English. 
and ah, yes, like, I get it. Like in the around the hips. Yes, I get it. Well, so, I hope, I hope you get there soon. Yeah, it's it's a it's a little bit pain. It's like when they make women cesareans. Ah, well, I don't know, <laughs> but I can imagine. <laughs> um, I don't know too, but a lot of people tell me that, so I can imagine. Okay, <laughs> let's do the exercise. Okay, yes. Uh, uh, two point so two. So two point two, right? Yes. Let's go to the. Let me read the instruction. It says, complete the news story with the present perfect or past tense form of the verbs in parentheses. Okay, it says, number one, a group of thieves steal the dragon's eye ruby from the Grand Gallery. So what would you think it will be the correct answer? Okay, let right. me see a group of thieves. I think had still. Tell me, tell okay. me, I'm sorry. Yes, let's let's try it. Had still. What is um oh, it's still incorrect. How how did you write it? A group of thieves? How still, right? Had with D. No. Have. S. H A V E. Ah. Have. Because it says present perfect, but I don't know if the verb still is is conjugated, right? Could be stolen. Let's try stolen. How stolen? That is still incorrect. Still incorrect. I think I need to improve. Huh. Can you help me? <laughs> yes. Please. Yeah, go ahead, tell me. I'm listening. We're just in number one. Uh, so it will says to complete the sentence with present perfect or past tense from the verb in parentheses. In this case, the verb in parentheses is still, right? right. So um, the correct sentence will be a group of thieves have a still a group of uh, no no have has ah has yes the reason this is because technically a group is only one even if we mentalize a lot of people but it's one group it's an ah, it okay mm -hmm. and uh, Oscar, I'm, I'm sorry, how did you say was the verb? It has what? A steal. No, no, because steal? steal is in the present. You always yeah. with past participle. Okay. It could be has stolen. Correct. Remember, for this, you do not write the sentence. It's only the answer, not the sentence, only the answer. Uh, maybe that's, that's why I get it wrong, because I, I wrote yeah. all the sentence. No, 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 not all the sentence, only only the, the, the verb or the two verbs in the, in the past uh, tense, that's it. Only so. has a stolen. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yes, it's right. <laughs> okay, Stephanie, <laughs> all right. Great, great. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Number two. Uh, let's okay. not off. Turn off. I think that doesn't make sense if we put... Why? When. Went off? Went off. Yes. Let's see. Went. Do you pull capital letter? Let it? Yes. Okay, that's my mistake. 
Uh, I couldn't get right. I could write, but I couldn't get the right point. Why? I don't know. What did What did you put? When. Went off. Went off. It's a phrasal verb. Ah, I went off. That's why. Yes. Mm -hmm. But only the only the verb, right? Not the entire sentence. Yes, only the verb. Okay. Ah, only the verb. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Got it? No. Let's try the no another one. I'm going to leave at the end. Okay. The police. The police. Um, this is a uh, past participle, too. No. Oh, that's true. It's a uh, time at the end. Immediately. It's true. Rush it. But they. Yes, I have grown in four, five, and six. Four, five, and so. Four, five, six. No, number, number four is, but they have been too late. In what it's number? Wrong. Number what four, number? you said, because I'm ah. having, I am having, I am having problems. Uh, submitting. Ah, right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, I have wrong one, two. Oh. <laughs> Claudia, go up to number one. Let's number start. one. Number yeah. one. I. Okay. Let me check. Have there, stalling. No, it's not have. It has. Grammatically, a group uh, is a group one. Of three. Yes, a group is one. Even if there are a lot okay. of people, but the group is one, which is has. Yes, okay. yes. You're right. Yes. That's that's the the, the first one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It's this, correct now. Okay. And number two, do you have the alarm? No, no, no. Number two, no. You you had it correct, but you forgot that number two is it's a phrasal verb. You need to put in the phrasal verb. So number two, go back. Went up. Correct, correct. That's the idea. Um, Cor uh -huh. Number two was correct. Okay. Number three, yeah. let me see. In my case, correct, rush. No, because rush is the present tense. And here is only two choices, the past simple or the past perfect. Or sorry, the present perfect. The present perfect in or my the case? past? In my case, it's correct with rush in the past. Uh, R U S H E D. Ah, okay. There you go. Uh huh. And now you guys continue the other. No, so it's it, it's simple. It's simple past. Correct. There you go. Okay, number four. We we verb is live, right? Yes. Uh, how do you write that? L E. Uh, it's in yeah. present perfect, and uh, it will it could, it will be have left. Teacher, I think it's uh like a not a, an issue, but uh, have left. You're right. Um, for example, in number seven, mm -hmm. it says the verb in parentheses it's left. It should should be leave, right? Let me take a look. Mm -hmm. Number seven. All right, they believe it's it is probable that the thieves left the city. No. What did you put? Have left. Have left. Yes. Uh, and and it's mean, not correct or what? It is. Yes, it's correct. Oh, okay. I mean I mean uh, all the birds in the parentheses are like in present. Correct. Oh I yes. see. I see what you mean. Yeah, I don't know why that one's in past. Good, good, <laughs> good observation. You're right. I don't. It shouldn't be in past. It should be in present. You're right. That that was a clue for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does it mean, theft, teacher? Is when someone takes something without the permission. They are the 
they are the thieves that they take things that don't belong to them. Like a burglar. Mm -hmm. Correct. The action that the burglar does, that's the, the theft. Okay. Theft. Okay, let's try uh, number eight. The last one, right? Yeah. Yes. The, the curator the, of the grand gallery. What is that, the curator? The person responsible for the museum, the one who is the, I guess, like the manager, we could think about it. Okay. This would be kind of like the idea of a manager. Yes. The curator. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be the creator of the Grand Gallery has offered. Yes. Has offered. A 50,000 reward 50, for information leading to the capture yes, of that's the thieves. Right. Ooh. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did it. Yeah, we did it. So, hey, teacher. Yeah. Did you know the woman of the videos? The woman of the? Of the videos. No, 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 no. I never met her. Uh, is, is she Salvadorian? Uh, yeah, yeah, she is. It remembers me a t shirt that I used to have. Um, how do you know that she's Salvadorian? Um, she sounds Salvadorian. Oh. Her pronunciation. I well, actually, it was ah. not my teacher, <laughs> but I remember her nickname in the English classes. But I'm talking to you about like more than fifteen or eighteen years ago. Mm -hmm. she, she has. She used to have curly hair. If 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 it's the one that I'm thinking about. She has very good pronunciation, but I, uh, I hear an, an, there's um, not only Salvadorians, but Hispanics always have a, an accent that they retain when they learn English as a second language, especially when they're older. Um, and this is the accent with the, it has a tendency where you would normally hear it for Hispanics is with the S. Salvadorians, mm -hmm. like with the, the Chinese, they have a problem with, um, uh, with the L and the R, so they always say like fried rice. I want fried rice. They they have a problem saying fried rice. So with with them, words with R are easy to understand that they're from Asia, from their from mm -hmm. because of the pronunciation of their mother tongue, their their native. But Salvadorians or sorry, not Salvadorians, Hispanics have oh. a have a tendency with the S. Oh. The S is the key. So when I hear Stephanie speak or you speak. When you say words with S, it, m many times you say them correctly, but there are it's some times, <laughs> there are some moments where the Hispanic comes out and it says, ah, I study. And no, it's no E study. There is no E. There is no E school. This is only a Hispanic pronunciation. This wow. is only somebody who studies, who has Spanish as a native language makes this mistake because this mistake doesn't exist in other languages because there's no E in front of the words with S. I understand. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, a people from India, mm -hmm. they work, they, they talk different, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's, that's why I say that you can be near native, you can be very good, but there's always something that the people here that say, hmm, you are from New York, hmm, you are from California, hmm, you are not native. Yeah, but you can. So try. you you think that that your English is native because you grew up there, right? Yeah, this this is what makes my English uh, the, the those small mistakes or those small differences is what confuses many people, because even though I I know Spanish and even though I was born in El Salvador, I went and I to study in the U.S. young enough where my English was developed like a native language. So then I don't, right. have, I don't have these sounds that, that the people when they're teenagers or they're adults and they learn, they speak very well, but they don't sound exactly native because of these small pronunciations. Interesting. 
yeah <laughs> it's just like a salvadorian right if you a salvadorian if you hear other salvadorians speak you can listen carefully and you say oh you're from san miguel oh you're, you're from are, <laughs> you are from sonsonate <laughs> oh you are from Aguachapan, or or maybe not ex not so specific but you are you say oh where are you from because you're not from the capital yeah mm -hmm. it's it's in, in it's really small country <laughs> yes stephanie I'm sorry, uh, I was wondering, uh, I don't know if, if, it's to, if we need to improve that or, or I don't know, um, or how to improve, uh, I don't know, because yes, as, as you said, uh, we, for example, as my name, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's a, a E before um, yeah. S, so. I don't know, just pronounce it with S or instead of S, right? Yeah, no, 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 your name is your name. Don't change it, but it's just other words in general. It's, 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 it's always you're going to hear cool. like, yeah, exactly. Or a study or, yes. uh, or many times even for, you know, it's just little sounds like we like expert. Many people, they forget that it's an X. And they put like an S, expert. There's an expert in class, mm -hmm. but you you know. So and and don't worry, Steph. It's only because I'm an English teacher, and this is my job. My job is to listen for details, listen for mispronunciation, listen for mistakes. So that's why I, it's easy for me to identify. But you know, it, it's there. There are techniques, and there are. But this is this is completely different than learning to speak English. This, this that would be a special course where it's just in pronunciation it's called accent reduction is the name of the course that you look for okay and where teacher on the internet yeah usually you have to take it um in well obviously right now with the covid it's pretty hard but yes <laughs> it's actually with 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 that accent what i'll put it into the in the group when we go okay. back okay mm -hmm. thank you sure thing teacher Tell me, Karen. I was telling Claudia that last week mm -hmm. you, you gave us a link to practice the reported speech. Uh huh. But he, he didn't find in the WhatsApp group the link. Really? Let me. Yeah, because. Uh huh, uh -huh. go ahead. Because uh, until now, we just have joined the WhatsApp group. All right, let me take a look one more time. Hang on. Do you guys remember what day last week I, I put it into the group? Yes. To ah, yeah. To practice yes, 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 I found it. Yes, yes. Okay. No problem. There. What teacher? Where are you searching? Leonidas? It's in the yeah. chat. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you see it, Leonidas? Are you in the WhatsApp group? Yes, teacher. I already saw it. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, so for whoever was, was missing it, there it is. It's in the WhatsApp group. Claudia. Hello. Claudia? Uh, hola, hola, Karen. Uh, yes, I, I get the link in WhatsApp group. Okay. Uh, right now. Yeah. Okay, Thank perfect. You. You're welcome. All right. So, as you can see, it's pretty... Okay, you're welcome. All right. So, going back to our topic, um, eh, I forgot. Eh, I think it was um, Stephanie. Stephanie? Um, I put into the, the chat the name. That way you can see it. Um, it's called Accent Thank you. You're welcome. Accent Reduction. Um, that is the name of it. But you, um, at this moment, I, I will have to look for um, a recommended class or something like that if you're interested in that. But there are exercises you can work on. I think I sent Oscar maybe last week um, something about minimal pairs or before in the last course. Did I send that to you, Oscar? 
about accent reduction? Was that you? No, that wasn't you. No, no. no okay. I don't yeah, I, I don't remember, but someone had asked me, um, hang on. Here. I'll just put it into the main group. That way I don't have to think about it in, in, <laughs> and look for it uh, every time. Um, the, what, the, what I'm talking about right now, for those that are a little bit confused, is uh, we were talking with Stephanie and Oscar about how to improve your pronunciation. And of course, you can learn the grammar and do different things. But one of the hardest parts is just having that accent that sounds native-like. Okay, and you need to work on reducing sounds that distinguish you, sounds that people can identify and say, oh, okay, you learned the language. Oh, you are from Latin America. Oh, you are Hispanic because these are specific sounds. So in the WhatsApp group, you'll, you'll find that it's called minimal pairs. And these are the sounds for many, many different words that help you so that the two words or the two sounds that sound the same you learn how to pronounce them differently. So listen to them and then repeat them, okay? And there's always going to be a difference. First listen and then pronounce because they're similar, but really they're different. This is kind of like the idea with many people always have a mistake with the word, for example, for, uh, a, okay, for, example, for paper, right? They always say, um, sometimes they confuse it and they say a sheet of paper, but it's a sheet, not a shit. One is sheet, the other is shit. So those are what's called minimal pairs. And those are the things that you practice to reduce these sounds that sound similar, but to make sure they are clearly distinguishable. That, that example could also, about pronunciation, could also happen with sheep and, and sheep. Yes, yes, if the person doesn't have, usually not Hispanics, because Hispanics usually have a tendency to pronunciate the, the final part okay. Um, usually with the T and the P, it's not a problem. I, it's usually with the pronunciation with the words that are T and Bs or Ds. Hispanics usually have a problem um, with these final sounds, but usually the T and the P, most people can, can distinguish them when you say them and when, when they pronunciate them. But there are other sounds which are the minimal pairs that are very similar and that's where the problem comes in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you get a chance, I, I, uh, the minimal pairs are, they are by vowels and by consonants and they are at the beginning or in the middle or at the end, but those help you with making sure that you pronounce words correctly. So maybe like um, like in La Gran Vía, there's fit, be fit, right? And the your shoes, you use, you put shoes on your feet. But many times, you know, sounds like this that people, when they say quickly or when, or when you don't hear it often enough, then you say feet, be fit. But it's not be fit, it's be fit. And it's feet for the shoes. That's, that's the, the idea of those exercises. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sorry to get a little bit sidetracked there. Um, before we continue, um, are there any questions? Is it clear for everybody what we're doing with the present perfect and the past simple? Yes, uh, I remember a sentence mm -hmm. in the exercise that we made before and it says a group of keys. So when you when a sentence is uh, a group of someone, the that's the that counts like uh, in first person. Correct. I mean, first person, yeah. right? Not in first. <coughs> Sorry. Yes, Stephanie, you are correct. Very good observation. I forgot to mention that. That is very very interesting because we always think of the group like many people, right? There's twelve people for soccer or a family. There's but the group is only one group. So grammatically, a group of whatever is still one group. And that is considered like an it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Richard, uh, 
in number five. Uh, right after learning of the robbery, this is a specific time in 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 this sentence. Correct. Right after learning, huh? Yes, because they learned of the robbery and immediately after we know when it happened. So, so when he learned about it at that moment, ex exactly after he made the call mm -hmm. or, okay. or he did the action. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Teacher, can we practice? Uh, can we practice more about this topic? Uh, more with more exercise, like 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 the reported speech. Of course, of course, we're gonna practice more. Um, exactly. Hang on, I'll put them. Let me see. Okay, I'll put them into the the same WhatsApp. Um, if you want to practice uh, present perfect or past simple and hang on just like what we what we put in for the um, reported speech give me one second I'm sending it to the chat that way it's clear for you a lot of extra additional exercises today okay should be in your chat all right, so if you need to practice more of that, you can find more of that um, there. Okay, now tomorrow we're gonna be looking at the same, we're gonna, but we're gonna be expanding it a little bit more. So we're gonna be practicing again to present perfect, but tomorrow we're gonna be talking about the present perfect with the, our present perfect continuous. So present perfect, we're, we learned today, it's the verb to be and the verb in the past participle. The present perfect continuous is the verb, uh, the same thing that have or has. Um, and then is the verb to be, sorry. And then is the verb to be been and the verb with ing. So I'll put it into um, the chat so that it's a little bit clearer. So today the present perfect is have, right? And the past participle, I'm trying to look. Okay, and tomorrow we're going to be looking at the present perfect continuous, which is the same idea, the verb have, but we're going to use been and then the verb with ing. Okay, so in order to do that, you need to make sure that it's clear for you what is the present perfect today. So if you have time, review or practice some more. Okay, and then we're going to continue tomorrow and expanding a little bit more our information. Okay, guys, if there are no okay, then have a good night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, hey, good thank, night. You. thank you guys. Have a nice Bye. night. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.